I would say, one, don't be discouraged because it feels like there's a lot to do. And in a way there is, but every little step is a step forward. So it, it might seem overwhelming and sometimes it is because you start thinking, oh my God, I have to put all these things together. And some people say this and some people do this. And they're talking about ABC cars and they're talking about blah, blah, blah. And then you think, what am I doing? Any single step I think is important. Every little step is a step in the right direction. Two, we have nowadays many people who have experience with this approach. Many people in many departments who are working with this approach. Right now at SMAID we have this grant called CCOR where we're changing the way we teach and trying to use this type of approach. So there's a good cadre of people who are interested in helping and who are willing to help. So there's a resource, there are resources, I guess I'm sorry, to contact them for advice. And there are many things to mention, but I would say time. I would say keep mindful of time every day because it's a wonderful, powerful approach, but it takes time. Usually the amount of time you have planned, it's longer because activities, because class discussions takes longer than you sometimes think. So be prepared for the idea that you plan to teach this much and you might end up teaching this. It's something to keep in mind. It takes time. And it comes again with doing it and experience. You start finding out roughly how long it actually each concept takes to understand. My advice would be to start small mm -hmm. and to do it gradually, but to always start uh, with your learning goals. So if I am designing a lesson or a unit, it's meaningless to me now that I've you know, taught this course multiple times without some kind of clear learning target in mind that's conceptual in nature and that is very clear, um, clearly stated uh, and specifically stated. Mm -hmm. And then working backwards from there. So the working backwards would be things like, okay, what do students commonly think about this? What difficulties do they have around it? How will I know what my students think? Uh, what will I do to bring out that formative assessment and to figure out what they know and to help them to articulate what they know to each other? And so, you know, I think that that starting small is probably the, um, the best way to do it because then you can really attend to these specific learning targets in a very meaningful way and think about all the formative assessment that goes along with it. With this curriculum, I had had students really saying things like, wow, you know, I, I, well, I didn't, now I understand this or I didn't realize this was happening. It's that stuff that's so fun with this class. It's just, you know, being able to see that growth and that, that being able to apply those concepts to, to other things. Mm -hmm. I just feel like there's a lot of growth over this series with that um, sort of being, um, being forced to articulate your thinking. Well, we call it uh, physics, life science, earth science, and everyday thinking. Mm -hmm. And that's really what it's about. It is a very powerful uh, way of teaching. And as I mentioned, is, is the one I would use if I want to improve the chances they actually have enduring understandings of a particular topic.